In this tutorial, let's see how to create a new customer. So you go to cart file, cart list, and go to customer section, and then hit new here. Okay, so my customer is something like hold. Okay, and hit tab, so address, the basic information, something like 12 Cold Street, Melbourne. Victoria, uh, 3000, phone number is something like 03111, and then 031111, and email address is again accounts at calls.com.au, very important because he's your customer, you'd be sending your remittance advices to this email address, okay? So it's very important to have uh, the correct email address there. So you can put some website, salutation, and contact details there. Okay, so that's a profile information. Let's go to card, leave this one blank at the stage. Selling information, very, very important once again. So this can be the service mode, the service layout, and the invoice delivery is to be printed or to be emailed. So whichever uh, you, whichever your company policy, whatever your company policy is, if it's to be emailed, then you would select to be emailed. Okay. Now, income account is either you want that to go to four one thousand or four two thousand. You can default it, so you don't have to enter it every time you enter an invoice. Okay. And the next section is the credit information, credit terms which you give to your customer. So by default in the setup, I have set it up as. 30 days but if you want to give only seven days here is a section where you can change that information so what does this mean is within seven days of the invoice date okay so if the invoice is generated on 10th of September then it becomes due on 17th of September so as simple as that so I'm putting as seven days and ABN is your customers ABN so it's 11 digit information so usually like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, one. As soon as I hit tab, this is how it's gonna appear. Two digit, three digit, three digit, and three digit. That's the format. Okay, that's the selling details, and that's the payment details, how they are paying to you. Either you can say they usually pay us direct deposit, direct credit, F4. So it's a, just a default function there. A bit of contact log, there's nothing there, and jobs. There's nothing there again and history you haven't traded with them so it's usually zero okay so after you do that you click OK and it'll appear here you see cold supermarket in customer section so that's how it is appearing there okay so that's how you create a new customer card